Here I am at the uh, Bali Arts Festival. So this afternoon we're going to go in and have a look around and uh, just give an indication of what uh, what Bali Arts are all about. And uh, let's see if we can find some some nice tucker. Um, I've been here about three times before, so um, every year it's. Uh, it's on. The president was here the other day, opened her up. And, uh, what you'll see in here is, um, you know, both different parts of Bali culture, as in, as in their, um, as in their um, artwork, plus their um, their dancing. You see a. See a bit of dancing. I don't know whether <laughs> usually they dance the dancing in the night time, so still a fair way to go till it's dark. But anyway, we'll have a look around and uh, and see what we can find. As anywhere in uh, in Bali or even Indonesia, they love making these uh, these colourful displays. Um, quite impressive, actually. I'm heading up now to the main hall, so uh, we'll get up there, there's information centre here, but I don't really know what to ask for, so. So we'll have a look around. What a nice uh, Balinese architecture here, or Hindu architecture. As you probably know, Bali is a uh, predominantly a Hindu religious area. The sun might be in the road there. So I don't know what these signs are. Oh, no food and drink. So this is where a lot of locals will display their their wares. Not very busy at the moment. It's the middle of the day, so people don't really like coming uh, coming out in the heat. So if you have a look at this architecture, all this designs, it's uh, to me it looks like it's going back to the 60s. So, uh, interesting things here, different knives. Um, they also have a, a knife they call the Chris, which is a, these are Chris's here. So they have a, have a blade, the blade's a curved blade. Uh, but I don't know the significance of it. But you can see a row of chrises over there. And these are, well, I don't know, general purpose knives, I guess. And uh, they're all handmade. $10 for those little ones. Or $10 Australian, approximately. A little bit of artwork over here. Nice little water feature in the middle. There's the quality of these t-shirts. Quite nice. Fifteen dollars. I don't know what uh, what material I made out of. Well, the art collection's not going to tell me, but. The amount of uh, amount of work that goes into a lot of this stuff. Oh, this is the silver in here, the inlay on this great piece of wood here. Quite nice. I don't know where I would put it. Be hard getting it home on the motorbike. But this looks more like home furnishings than here. 
in this area. It's pretty spectacular. You want a fairly big house for this thing. Go back here a bit. Yeah. I don't know what it represents, but then again. Look at this furniture here. One thing that girls like here are mirrors. Another day bed there. And a flash, another one of those silver things. I don't know what it is. The fancy shoes. This area here used to be all jewellery. So, oh, it still might be. There's a door up there. We're going to have a look. Some a handbag there for the ladies. They're all handmade. No factory made stuff here. There is a bed for the giants. It's quite an unusual thing. That's pretty big though. Look at the artwork that's done on this log. I don't know what it, where you would put it, but still. Uh, here we go. We'll go in here. Oh uh, yeah, here we go. Oh, it's nice and cool in here. So here's some fancy jewellery. Now this is all gold plated. Um, one thing you have to be careful of in in Indonesia if you're buying. Um, buying gold, a lot of it is like silver, like this ring I've got on, but they um, they coat it in gold. The way they test the gold is with a chemical. Now, I don't know whether these are uh, gold plated or, or what they call Ashley, which is original, but they have a stamp in them denoting the type of uh, See, that's seven million, that ring over there, so I'd say seven and a half million. So I would say that that's pure gold with a fancy stone in it. Some very nice rings. And these are all handmade, you know what I mean? The work that's involved. Small rings here for ladies. See, that's a hundred dollars, nine hundred and fifty rupee. That's um, that would be pure silver, I'd say. It might be white gold. I don't know. Not being an expert on the uh, on the jewellery, but there certainly are some nice. That's four and a half, four hundred and fifty dollars. Now that. That ring there, I would say, would be gold plated for that sort of price. Look at it. There's certainly some nice rings there. There's some silver. You see, the silver goes black. My my rings used to go black, but I took them in, and they do a some sort of chemical coating on them. It keeps some silver. Certainly some nice. Look at the work that's involved there. Look at that. That's all handmade. Eh? What do they call all this? What's the name? Anda. 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 Like it's not batik. No batik. No. This is all made in Bali or? In Bali, and Only Bali. Uh, in Lombok? In Lo uh, maybe in Jawa, uh, Batik. Batik in, in Jawa, I see. So it's Bali style of Batik. Yeah, Bali, Minung Batik. Andak. How do you say again? Andak. 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 That's Balinese. Yeah. 
Bali. Bandak. You have Indonesian word for this? Yeah. Same. Same. Bandak. All right, very nice. And they use this for what? Just for sarong or yeah. this all sarong? Uh, no, I have just here. For what they use this for? All oh, right, you make you make clothes from it. It's really expensive. Take a long time to make. It's expensive. <laughs> it's looking expensive to me. But it take a long time to make. Uh, yes, uh, maybe uh, one month. One month to make one. One. Uh, like one, one like this. Like maybe this, one month. Uh, three months. Three months three to make like this. This, uh, this one this here. One month. Three months. Three months for that one, and it's uh, no price. Oh, a hundred and about a hundred and eighty-four dollars. How much material? How many yards? Uh, how many? Material Mat But how many meters? Uh, two. Two point four. About two point five meters. And take one month, three months for that one. Yeah. And that one is. Same, Same price. price yeah. Why the difference in price? This one, different material. Uh, no, uh, same material. Yeah. But uh, different uh, color. And pattern. But this one, you say one month. Yeah. No, three months. Oh, this both of these. Three. Oh, that one, one month like that. Yeah. Yeah, one month. And that cheaper. Oh well, no, that's oh, yeah, five hundred. Yeah, fifty-one dollars okay. approximately. Yeah. Well, there you go. Ooh, I don't wear so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right, terima kasih. Eh? Thank you very much. Well, there you go. There's an explanation. Oh, you notice the difference coming out here. A bit warmer. All right, we'll head off and have a look at something else. Okay, so they've got a big area here. This is where they do a lot of dance performances. Um, Got the big screen over there, and uh, later on in the day, or the, when it cools down a bit, they have dance performances here and into the night. And this big area here is um, is a big playground. <laughs> no, this is uh, this is another show showground type thing, a uh, like an auditorium. I'll take you up the top there and you can have a look inside. Okay, so here we are. This is uh, the auditorium. They do presentations and things like that here. Um, obviously by the lights. Most of it happens at night. Um, I was here a few years ago. They had a pretty big display on, but I couldn't understand what was going on. But... Um, all these chairs down here and uh, I don't know whether I had to pay to get into there I sat on one of those chairs down there and they're putting the white covers on I don't think I had to pay but they're seating all around for everybody and uh, quite colourful two big screens up there yeah pretty nice now how did I get down I'll go down this side. So, hello, what have we got going on over here? Looks like a workshop of some description. We'll go down and have a look at that. Okay, so I think I've got the idea here. These are all school kids. I don't know what age they are. It's pretty hard to tell. But they're doing colouring in. So, uh, pretty spectacular level with this young girl. Doing a fairly good job there. Look at the colours in that. We've got some paints and crayons. So this is where they learn to uh, abakaba, make timalu, eh? You shy. Very, very nice.
Bagus. Look at the crayon set there. Woo. So boys and girls doing a good job. Smile. <laughs> a little bit shy. <laughs> Hard work. Huh? Hard work. So there you go. And what, Bahasa English? Yeah. What um, What are you judging them on? Um, we are on three. It's creativity, yeah. technique, and uh, uh, harmony. Estetica. I don't know, so, yeah, but technique and creativity so they're all their own design or special design we hand on uh, design all oh, right and, and then they color in they put color but they can create more all yeah. oh, right ah oh, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Motive, uh, okay very good and how old are these kids it's uh, <laughs> from Elementary school is how many grades? It's, I think it's from third grade to sixth grade. Third to sixth grade, but uh, but up a tahun. But up a tahun. It's uh, from nine, eight or nine to twelve. Okay. Well, there you go. They all from one school? No, different school. All over Bali. Oh, that's great. Very good. We we'll could just get in and have a look at a couple more. It's time for makan. Babi guling. So they all get the same design, but the same creativity in, in what they're doing. And they're all from different schools around Bali. Hello. Hello. You can do this. Yes. You, before, when you're a kid, you do this. My kid. <laughs> oh, your kid is yes. in there. <laughs> okay. Good luck. Thank you, Lani. Okay. Okay. Here we go. It's nice and cool in here too. Aba kaba, ladies. Bike? Yes. Good. What are you selling? Nothing? Hmm? Oh, here? Yes. I see. This is all batik? Uh, no, this is andak. Andak. That's yes. Balinese for same, same. Summer, summer. Uh, In Java, batik. Uh, yes. Yeah, same, same. See me Bahasa, Indonesia. Bagus, eh? Okay. <laughs> I only learned that five minutes ago over there. So there's a distinguishing factor that what they call batik in Indonesia, in Java, is called Induk or whatever it was. In uh, in Bali, there's a bit of a distinguishing factor there. But all these are uh, these are all handmade. These uh, these clothes. From different different areas. I'm in the women's shop. There's the headdress for the boys. Interesting fact, I don't know whether it's true or false that somebody might be able to tell me in the comments. 
is when these white caps, I forget what they call them, undung or something like that they're called, udang, udang. Um, when they're covered is what a priest would wear. None of those are covered, but a priest would wear one that's covered. But I don't know the, uh, the reason why they have the knots or the bows or whatever they are in the front, but someone told me that if they were covered, it's what a priest would wear, or a holy man. I don't know whether it's priest or holy man. You know, the udang, yes, I know. when the white one, putu, puti, yeah, but covered for holy man. Oh, covered. Yeah. Is it holy man? Um, okay, we're going to get deep down information here. No, I just want to know what it means. The holy man have the covered one. Oh, full cover. Full cover for uh, like uh, in Hindu, a manku. A manku, priest, manku. like priest. Holy man, yeah, okay. Uh, that's true. Huh? So that's right, for holy man, yeah. yeah. Okay, so the more information was correct, I put on here. Yeah. I put information on here for uh, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You. Okay then, Trimakasi. All right, let's get out of here. So this area that I'm at now is very popular with uh, wedding photographers. They bring a lot of a lot of wedding couples in here to uh, take photos up those stairways and things like that on this uh, canal. Abba kaba, salamat siang, makan enak, enak, good. Bali. What is it? Tofu. Tofu. Tahu. 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 Okay, hello. How are you? Yeah, very good. Thank you. Australia. Pardon? I've been here uh, 12 years. Long time. Yeah, like, yeah. Bali, Indonesia, all good. Okay, Sabajupa. Okay, so make me way over the other side. Hello, Hello Abakaba. What? 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 Hello, Abakaba. Fine, fine, <laughs> fine. You're fine. Very good. <laughs> hey, bro. Hello. There's those fingers. They taste good. <laughs> they taste good. <laughs> Hello. So I'll go over here, there's a food court over here. Hello. Hello. And then I'll head over into this section behind this grey and white wall here. That's where most of the local merchants would be with, you know, a little bit lower class materials, clothing and stuff like that, cheap clothing. But that's a nice, uh, nice location along there. So uh, we've got kids here of all different parts of the uh, of the island, all dressed up. Nowhere to go. <laughs> all looking pretty cute. Hello, darling. How are you? Apa kabar? Apa kabar? Good girl. <laughs> all the mamas over here with their kids in here. All very proud. <laughs> all pretty excited. Hey, bro, what is this? 
So, some more in a different colour, obviously from a different school or a different area. Komda Bali, Komda Bali, wherever that is. Hello, Abakaba. Everybody races towards the camera. Everybody say hello. Oh, look at that. Well behaved kids. There's big kids over here and little kids here. Get everybody in. Oh, is it? And then somebody's showing off. All right. Hello. Hey, boys. There's Mama here. Kids, you. There's your kids. All right. So we'll leave them and we'll go and have something to eat. Okay, so we're now at the food section, or well, one of the food sections. This is uh, this is made up of a whole lot of warongs from different parts of uh, of Bali. Um, we'll have a look around, see what. Uh, what spikes the imagination. I was here the other day and uh, cut some Barbie ghouling, but uh, they put too much uh, sambal on. So now we investigate. Salamat shore. Oh, I like singing. Do I have this one? Have I? Have? Oh, it's cold, not hot. All right, we have sato portion. No sambal. I see it's learning English, this one. Okay, okay. <laughs> They're all learning English. Ah, oh, no, this is India. No sambal. And iced tea. See that gula? Yeah, no sugar. Okay, okay. This <laughs> one word they pick up. Here's some satays being made here. Cooked there, nice. This pork, Barbie. Yes. This one, Barbie. You're not find this one in Java. Only Bali. <laughs> but yeah, mainly pork um, and chicken. This one, Bobby or I am? How you said it? Bobby. <laughs> hey, Mama. How are you? But how say English? Come on. I am fine. But how say English? See that? Okay, we'll sit in here and have this. Well, we'll have a look around. Iced tea, no sugar. Very good. Thank you very much. It's funny that. Um, a lot of them can't speak English, but when you say thank you very much, they know what you mean. So. There's a few people in here. I'll go down later after I finish these. These are, these are curried ones, these. Um, we had some yesterday, so they're not bad. And uh, this certainly saves cooking. Okay, Kadek, what up, Ini? Okay, that's enough. 
Oke, okay. sampai jumpa lagi. Ya. Okay, see you tomorrow. Ah, tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. Oke, okay, thank you very much. Eh? Now I'm gonna wander off and get some uh, Barbie gooing. It's cooking up here. This curry, curry Barbie, Barbie curry, curry Barbie, Barbie curry. For you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay then. Yeah, Sampai right. yeah. See you Don't forget to comment. Eh? Yes, yes. <laughs> Hello, sweetheart. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so it's starting to build up here a bit. We'll get up here and see how we go with. Uh, How much are Now, one Barbie Gulling. Yes. Give me this Barbie Gulling. Yes. No sambo. Okay. See this here? Okay. Here, give me. Yeah. This yellow stuff. None of that. And this, what is it? Lulut. Yeah, yeah. What's the name? What's his name? Lulut. Satay apa? Satay alam. Yes, yeah, satay. Chicken. Yeah, but what's the name? Lilith. 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 Yeah. Tidak. Tidak. Yeah. Okay. So no sambal. No sambal. And. No, go on, go on, go on. You're right. And crispy, crispy meat. Okay, I sit here, eh? duduk. Okay, so I'm going to sit at this nice table. Is it timber or is a veneer over the top? I think it's a veneer over the top. Oh, it might be timber. There you go. So we'll wait in. Wait for this uh, tucker to come. Shouldn't be too long. Okay, so that's a little serve of Barbie gooling. Not a lot of Barbie on this one. Well, this is crackling. This is good. Normally with a lot of rice there. I don't know what this is. It's, well, it's a bit of crackling. It's all right. We'll dig into this and uh, see how we go. Well, that was pretty nice. One thing I've got to say about Barbie Gooling is that when they cook the suckling pig, they fill it up with um, a whole lot of spices and different things, you know. And they cook it for hours, and that seeps through the uh, through the meat. So when you when you eat the meat, it's um, it's got a nice little tang to it. I wouldn't say a tang, but it, you know, it's got a taste to it. Um, but like when I cook pork at home, it's just pure white and still, oh, pardon me, still tastes good. But um, yeah, that's that's how they do it. Uh, it does put a different flavour to the meat, which is very, very nice. So I'll finish that and we'll go for a bit of a stroll over to the... Uh, the other section, which is where you get all the cheap clothes. There's also a lot of other food stalls over there, which are um, a little bit down market from these stalls. So, see that big thing there that she's eating? God knows what that is. All right, we'll leave it at that, and we'll, uh, we'll head off and see what else we can find. Okay, so here we go, into the, uh, this is more like a fairground, isn't it? Nice fruit there, look at those mangoes. Terrific. Lots of, uh, there's those big, hello, 
What do I call this? What is Nama? Uh, apa ada lima? Kotak. 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 Yeah. What is potato? Potato. No, uh, it's potato. Eh? You like potato? Yes, I like potato. Yo, malu. <laughs> Hello. Oh, a bit lumpy here. So watch where I'm going. So as you can see, lots of food stalls here. There's a few more down the other end that I found yesterday. Well, have a look at this over here. Now these are, uh, I've seen these made somewhere else. They're potatoes. Have a look at that. Nice and crispy. They're deep fried, but uh, nevertheless, now we've got a selection of nice looking food there, nice and clean. What is this? Sausage. Sausage. Ah, well, there you go. Oh, different colour sausage. Look like big spaghetti. <laughs> oh, he's doing a good cook up over here. What? Grill. What that grill? What is? Dapachi. Korean food. Huh? Korean food. Dapachi. Korean food. Yeah. I see. Very good. And then what that uh, Barbie? No, no, I am. I am. I am. Okay. Very good. You not cook? She's not cooking. Korean, eh? very good. Okay, Trimakasi, eh? A little bit different from yesterday. I was here a bit earlier yesterday. No, thank you. A few more things happening here, a few more people. A ton more people. Hey, bro! As you can see, everybody diving in for a bargain. <laughs> Got a costume jewellery there. Hello. They rattle off things, don't they? I don't know what they're talking about. Oh, I'll have a little browse through here. Sausage bakar and kentang. Kentang, what? Upper Kentang. Permit it? Kentang. Upper Kentang. Kentang uh, are like uh, French fries. French fry? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, here. Like this. Yeah. Any. Look at these little things. What is this called? Uh, takoyaki. Who? Takoyaki. Oh, Japanese food. They look quite cute. This one. Potato. Uh, corn dog. Corn dog. Corn. Corn dog. Corn dog. Well, there's your corn dog, fresh bread. Oh, very nice. Hey, so the other day when I was here, I uh, I saw this um, these sweets over here that they make, and uh, I love them. But uh, for anybody with a sugar problem, it's uh, not a good idea because they're full of. Uh, Oh, there they are up there. They're full of sugar and coconuts and all sorts of stuff. But uh, before I had a sugar problem, um, I used to love them. Very, very nice. Sorry. Here we go. They cook it up in these uh, these little urns here. You see it. Cooking them up here. Got a few going. Here's a cast iron. Cast iron thing. She's going to make some new ones here, so we'll have a look at this. So they put them in there like that. Put the lids on them like there. 
and then I'll show you how they come out. I think I, they might have some over here. And now she's going to get them out, put them on the thing. So these are very, very nice. But very sweet. Manis, eh? Manis. Manis. Yeah. Lots of gula. There you go. So that's how it's done. Okay, here's a couple of the kids that we saw before. And they were... Uh, they were doing karate. I wonder what they were all about when they do karate. <laughs> Victra. 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 Namaste. Namaste, Rick. Rick. And that's your sister. And. Jemana Kampung. Jemana Kampung. In the Pasa. In the Pasa here. Okay, okay. Very good. You look very beautiful. Thank you. Jantik <laughs> Sakali. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, bye bye. Bye. Salamat malam, eh? Okay, bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Ah, uh, gorgeous, huh? Okay, so there we have it. I've run out of battery, so uh, I won't be able to film the rest of the, the program, but uh, I hope you've uh, all enjoyed this. Um, it's quite intriguing, intriguing actually, to uh, see what's going on. There's a ton of people here. So uh, that's me for this year. And, uh, We'll come back again next year, see if there's any difference. But uh, definitely at night time, people are out and about. There's a ton of people here. So uh, I guess we'll leave it there and until next time. Coming from Bali, uh, Indonesia, we'll see you all later. And uh, hope everybody's fine. So uh, good night for now.